Hello! Today I thought we would make my beautiful winter rose lip balm. I've got a gorgeous pot, I've got some beautiful ingredients. Let's get started. Hi, if we've not met before, I am Sarah from Soap School. It's lovely to have you with me today. This is going to be a vegan balm. And I know we get so many requests from people who do want a vegan balm, so this is just for you if it's one that you've requested. We're going to be using something called Miracle Wax, which is also known as Bayberry Wax. So if you're in America, you may know it as Bayberry. And I have linked to a couple of UK suppliers in the description as well. And then to go with that, I am using a few different oils. This first oil is really, really nourishing and nutritious. It is packed with antioxidants and it's rosehip oil. And at this time of the year, autumn going into winter, you'll see beautiful rose hips still on the bushes, but really they're best when they're actually harvested in the late autumn. I like to leave them at this time of the year for all of the wildlife that need them. And then I've got gorgeous sweet almond oil. You could change that to something like apricot kernel if you preferred. But it's such a versatile oil. It feels really nice and light. It doesn't have too much of a taste, so it's perfect in our lip balm. And then I'm also going to be using fractionated coconut oil. And fractionated coconut always stays liquid. It doesn't solidify. But if you can't get hold of this, you could use normal coconut oil instead. And then the other ingredient that we will be using is just a little bit of vitamin E. Now I've basically created a small bain-marie at home just using a hot plate. This could be your stove top. And then I've just got a pan with about an inch of water in it. You don't want a big rolling boil because you can get little bits of water popping into your container and that's not really ideal at all. Now Mirica or Bayberry starts to melt at 45 degrees Celsius, that's 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So it does have a low melt point. And look how easily that's melted already. And you don't want to overheat this because we've got beautiful antioxidants in this product. Our rosy oil is absolutely loaded. We've got vitamin C in really good levels. We've got things like vitamin E. We've got all those gamma linoleic acids. So it's something that we want to really, really celebrate. And let's make sure that we give it a really thorough mixing. Incorporate all of those fatty acids and that beautiful vegan wax together. Now, I don't want to add any type of flavor to this, but you could use a cosmetic grade flavor or you could use something like a citrus essential oil. I need the last ingredient to go in and that's my vitamin E and just work that in really, really well. It already has beautiful vitamin E in there, but we're making sure that we give it the best possible shelf life with those antioxidants. Okay, and now it's time to pour. I'm using a beautiful brown glass apothecary jar. And I've only made one because it's just for me. <laughs> and at this time of the year, my lips need all of the help that they can get. It's been so cold recently. It just suddenly came out of nowhere. And it's amazing how much it suddenly affects your lips. So this is going to set me up right through the winter. And all I need to do now is to pop this in the fridge. I'm going to give it 20 minutes in the fridge and allow it to set quite quickly. And then I'm just gonna allow it to come back to room temperature and I'll check on it in 24 hours. And she's done. Beautiful vegan winter rose lip balm. Let's have a look at the texture of it. It's nice and smooth. I can run my fingers just along the top and, and easily get some of the material. Just work it a little bit just to soften some of the mixture. And I can definitely easily get some of that off. And what's the texture like? Well, you can see it's nice and creamy. It doesn't have the same silky feel that you're going to get using beeswax. And that's because we're using a vegetable wax and they just don't have that same kind of silky feel. It does feel really, really nice. 
Let me try it on my lips. One second. Okay, so it's classic. With a lot of your plant waxes, you get not grainy, but there's a definite difference in texture when you use a plant wax to a beeswax. There are many other types of vegan wax out there and you could absolutely play around and find one that you like. But they all have a completely different feel and texture to a balm that is made with beeswax. Unless you go down the synthetic wax route and if you want to play around with something like a microcrystalline wax, you absolutely could. But with plant waxes, you tend to find that they do feel a little bit more powdery and they don't have that same kind of tackiness or stickiness to them and not quite the same kind of slip and glide. But it's a really, really nice balm and I hope that you enjoy it. I'm Sarah from Soap School. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you would like to learn more, why not think about taking our Balms and Butters course? We run it online and in person. And you can find more at our website, soapschool.com. I'll see you again in another video really, really soon. Bye-bye for now.